everybody for coming out and uh, hanging around for the last leg of this marathon. Um, it is a marathon. Is it camera on? Yeah, I hope so. Um, yeah, I, I have a creative process that's a little like Jimmy's. It sometimes happens after I'm already here. Um, so I have two rough poems that I wrote last night. One, be one before I came here or one after? And then uh, I'm going to read another one I wrote before. Uh, this first poem is called No Refrain. I look back into the past blindly, groping for a light switch to illuminate my present and find my perceptions dimmer. I can't help myself. I naively project into the future all my doubts and insecurities and have all my ill-formed questions answered with a flood of anxiety. I can't help myself. I accumulate innumerable possessions, yet my self-worth is bankrupt, my interest in relationships dwindling, and my energy deposits depleted. I can't help myself. I fill all my time up with activity and obligate myself to still more, rushing from one pursuit to the next, preparing for the time when I will break. I can't help myself. All my wants have been consumed by needs as the treadmill continues to ramp up. I labor breathing and can't maintain focus in fear I'll be tossed off if I ever stop running. I can't help myself if I never take time to learn who I am in the present moment. Yeah. And uh, this, is, this was uh, me not getting involved in a conversation last night and writing about it instead of doing something I regretted. <laughs> Fucking somebody up. <laughs> um, it's called Paradigm Shift. <laughs> Old man, bitter and lonely, why do you feel you're the only one who knows better? Old man, why do you complain so much about society's ills when your attitude, attitude seems so unhealthy? Old man, you mock protesters and unfruitfully compare your comforting apples to their orange flames of passion. Old man, your golden age never existed except in your stagnant imagination, suffering from dementia and conformity, with a tinge of nostalgia and blind loyalty. Old man, you have become deaf to the tones of evolution, out of tune with reality, thinking your reactionary beliefs will incite counter-revolution rather than criticism. Old man, you don't understand this world isn't based on your solitary experience. A consensus reality exists beyond your presence, containing a deeper truth and the seeds of growth. Old man, you have existed throughout all the ages of mankind's ascendancy, and you have always been the same character, the conservative paragon that stands in the way of social justice and progress. Old man, I'm not surprised you're surviving inside a host of different bodies, living vicariously off the energy of youth through indoctrination and idolization, parroting the value of a selective individuality. Old man, your days are numbered, and I shall commence the countdown, watching you disappear as irrelevant, without a flag waving atop a pole, or any monument sanctifying your mythology. <laughs> Old man, meet new man and woman, and we'll pretend we're equal. Um, this poem is called uh, The Chimera of Notre Dame. It's based on a, a photograph of this statue looking over Paris atop the uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. <clears throat> Perched atop a pinnacle of Western civilization, I overlook humanity whose face has become obscured by a host of sacred institutions questing for power. Up here, above it all, I listen to man make declarations of independence, of brotherhood, of loyalty, of piety, 
when I also watch over the world, looking at deeds, not words, noticing the transgressions against Christ's teachings, and I see the truth. Conflict abounds. This colossal construction I sit upon, and all that is housed within, is not exempt from this rule of law. Its foundation rests upon the Old Testament, Testament quite at odds with the Savior's teachings. The ancient eye for an eye ethic has persisted for millennia in different garbs. Man has soldiered for and worshipped a cornucopia of beings, including the sun, the moon, and the stars. But no god ever ruled so mercil mercilessly, nor was enthroned as long as Mars. When the time comes to challenge this order, I will get off my haunches and take flight, preaching the gospel of a democratic creed that ranks human welfare, existing in some symbiosis with the earth as the highest good, wherein adherents are freed by compassion, not bound by dogma, who challenge orthodoxy and seek to eliminate all systems of domination and who lead by example. But until then, I will bide my time in this Gothic dystopia, awaiting the moment when the whole superstructure implodes upon itself. Thank you everyone for coming out.